bang. Needs knives. I'm Jared, and here we have the new Microtech Stitch, Microtech MSI, both using the new RAM lock. Now, I will have an in-depth full review coming soon where we test the steel, the RAM lock, and all the, the goods and bads on this knife. But this is a first impressions, and we are going to discuss the, the goods and the negatives that I see right off the bat first impressions. Now, this is the using the new locking system from Microtech, which is the RAM lock. And I'm very happy to see Microtech doing something innovative. I recently did a video kind of calling out USA companies and I'm really, and you know, this is awesome that they're doing this. Awesome that it's new, awesome that it's innovative, really, really cool. Now, I did pick up four of these, so I picked up two of each. And the reason why was because I figured I'd give one away to one of the Patreons. And, you know, I want a heavy-duty test one, so at least I'll have one if something happens. Whatever. Anyways, so we will be doing a heavy-duty test on these very, very soon. Now, the um, the steel. It's Microtech's new steel um, that's basically, I think it's just a, um, an... I don't know if it's an upgrade or not, but it's just, you know, it's M390, their M390. I, I'm not sure exactly all the differences. Like I said, this will be in, that'll be in the first, imp or sorry, the full review. But I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, M390, just, you know, maybe with a couple little tweaks. Now, I would prefer or would love to just see them do a better heat treat on M390. We have seen in the past that they've kind of ran their M390 a little bit on the softer side. So we'd love to see them just, you know, especially in 2023, because in 2023, we have so many companies that are doing really, really good heat treats and they're running their steels at optimal HRC ranges, which the community really, really loves. So you know, it's just some of these steels, they, they fall by the wayside when they're a little bit on the softer side as far as edge retention goes. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> the knife itself, let's talk about it. So let's talk about the action of each one, um, which they're very similar. And then, we'll, you know, I'll talk about the good and the bad. So it is using the RAM lock, which theoretically looks like a very, very strong locking system. It has, it's a drop-in system that uses a spring, kind of like the ball lock from Spyderco. And it's kind of like a mixture between the ball lock and an access lock mixed together. But it pushes up and this um, steel, I think it's steel, it might be titanium, but the I think it's steel. Yes, this steel plate or steel uh, bar gets pushed up with the spring behind the tang of the blade, making it a vault. It is very, very strong, or at least theoretically, it looks like it's very strong. This appears that it's going to be a very tough locking system, but we will see if that's true in the future. Now, it has very good gripping on it. I do like the look of it. It's very comfortable to disengage. Now, it is riding on ceramic caged bearings, which I do really like that they're using bearings. However, both of them from the box, they were very hard to, to deploy without using a wrist. So now after, you know, flicking them both for a few days, I can deploy it without wrist, but I could not do that from the start. For the first couple days, I couldn't do it. It would only go to right there. So they're very stiff out of the box. Now that's something that, yes, they, it'll break in, which is just fine. That's cool. Um, but you kind of feel the ram lock pushing on the tang of the blade as it goes around. So, you know, that, that creates a little bit of friction when you do break what acts as the detent. You know, you got to fight that. Now, that's the next thing is the detent. There really basically is no detent. It, it's very, it feels like an access lock. This one's a little bit better detent, but then it's also a little bit more grittier on the open because of the ram lock pushing into the tang of the blade. Um, now, yes, it's going to break in more and more and more and more. So it's going to get smoother and smoother and smoother and smoother. But fresh out of the box, it is a little bit disappointing with the action. Just because it's such a spongy, you know, detent. Now, I will say. There are some other companies doing an incredible job with their access locks detents. They're being, uh, they're understanding that people don't want the spongy, spongy opening of a lock. They want to feel a nice click and have some power. Now, there's some companies doing a really good job with it. Even SOG is doing a good job with their access style lock, Kaiser, and a bunch of other companies. So, 
you know, there's no reason why they couldn't have done that. Where you know, I, I just would rather see that. You know, it's something that some people don't care about, but a lot of people do. And you know, it's just a nice, satisfying feeling when you go to deploy it and you have a little bit of resistance, and then it snaps out. Anyways, like I said, this is only breaking in more and more. Um, the ergonomics on both of these are amazing. I love the blade shape of the stitch. It's going to be great for utility cuts, slicing. You know, you can go downward, you know, like chopping. It's going to be great for self-defense. The, the the gas station knife fighting grip is going to be great. Um, the reverse grip pulling towards you is not going to be the best, but you can to totally get by with it. But I love that it allows you to get nice and tight to that edge, or you can choke back. That is really, really cool. And the geometry is not you know, it's a little bit on the ro more robust side, but it's also very, very pokey. Now, the MSI has a beautiful sheep's foot blade that's also going to be very good, very versatile. You can get up nice and tight to the edge so you can slice, you can turn it around and cut straps, you can do utility cuts. It's a nice large knife that's very comfortable in the hand. Oh my goodness. Both of these, both of these are just, they're hand melting comfortable. And I really do like that and appreciate that. Now, because you have such a strong lock, it's nice to, to have have good ergos as well you know considering it has such a strong lock now the clip the clip is only on one side for the stitch as far as the msi goes it is reversible inset but it does not have flat screws man i would prefer that to have flat screws is it that big of a deal no but you know it just makes you feel better to have flush screws when it goes in and out of the pocket because now you have all this room under the clip for thick jeans but now you have the those screws in the way and i wear th my pockets are very thick so i can feel it going in and out of the pocket is it that big of a deal no and it does it does work good so i, I don't want to make it seem like it doesn't it's not tearing my pockets or anything like that but you know i just notice it um all in all, I am very happy with these knives. I do like them a lot, like a lot, like a lot. Love that they're USA made. Love that it's using a new locking system. Love that it's different. Um, like I said, I do have some negatives and I'm hoping that I can tune that. So when I do a full review, I'm going to take this apart and see if I can't adjust this lock strength, or sorry, the, the spring tension for the open that might create a little bit more resistance for a stronger detent. I'm not sure if it'll work, so stay tuned for that. We'll see if this is adjustable or if it just is the way it is, and if you adjust it, it'll only get worse. We'll find that out. Um, but all in all, like I said, I'm happy I grabbed these. I do like them quite a bit. Um, as far as the negatives go, I do think that after having them for you know so long, I'll probably begin to enjoy them more and more and more because the action will only get better and better. You know, it's just a little bit, you know, it's not, not as satisfying as I wished it would be, but it's also very similar to the way I thought it was gonna be. So there you guys go. Oh yeah, also, the steel, you know, we are going to be doing a steel test. We will be testing this steel. Maybe we'll do a controlled edge retention test. I don't know. Um, I Like I said, I don't know, you know, the differences between this and regular M390, but all that stuff will come out in the full review. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.